Imagine that we're trying to shape our mental state into something that's useful to us, that's beneficial to us, like we're a potter. And so imagine that the potter has to add the right amount of water to the clay in order to make that clay malleable. If the potter adds too much water to the clay and the clay becomes fluid, then sure, the potter can stick his fingers into the clay, can move it around and can do whatever he wants with it, but it's never going to hold its shape. So the potter is not going to be able to turn that clay into anything beautiful or anything useful. On the other hand, suppose that the clay dries out to the point that it becomes brittle. Now the potter has to put a lot of energy into changing the shape. When he changes the shape, however, the clay doesn't mold into some beautiful form. It simply breaks. So when we have brittle mental states, we don't have smooth transitions from one to the other. We can't shape them the way we want them to be, the way that's beneficial for us. And it takes a lot of mental, mental energy going into them to make these abrupt shifts from one to the other. One way this could manifest that has been suggested in the scientific literature is in abrupt transitions from calmness to aggression. Now, of course, aggression is never a good thing, but the fact is that many of us get angry every once in a while, right? So... If we smoothly transition from calmness to anger, then there are many opportunities for us to realize that that transition is happening and to intervene. Perhaps we take some deep breaths. Perhaps we count to ten. Perhaps we realize what's going on and we say this isn't going to be good. There are also opportunities for the person we're getting angry at to realize that we're getting angry and intervene. Perhaps they said something that they shouldn't have said and they can see the way our facial expression changes and then they say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. But for the person who has brittle mental states because they're deficient in methylation and they have this excess stability, they might not transition from calmness to anger smoothly. They may transition very abruptly because their mental state can change Right? But it's like breaking brit brittle clay. And then the person who they're getting angry at has no opportunity to intervene, and they have no in chance to intervene either. Now let's consider, <clears throat> oh, going back to the potter, of course, what that means then is that we want just the right amount of water, just the right amount of moisture in the clay to contribute to clay that is flexible enough to shape it, but is also stable enough to hold its shape and then the potter is able to shape something useful and to shape something beautiful. And likewise, when we have just the right balance of mental flexibility and mental stability, we are able to shape our overall mental states and our behavior in the ways that are most beneficial to us.